those who make it versus those who don't, sometimes it just comes down to the parents. Our goal in our academy is to help the kids and athletes to get to the top 5% in the nation very quickly. And by top 5%, I basically just mean, you know, they're placing in their state tournament, maybe winning it. Any uh, national tournament they go to in high school or middle school, their kids wrestling, they're always knocking on the door. They're top 12. Uh, they're having close matches with the opponents that they're losing to who are all placing or winning those tournaments. We're just right in there, right? And you can do that within two years usually in our program as long as you are, um, you, know, you know, the kids who wrestle 12 weeks a year, obviously, you know, I'm not talking about them. The ones who are... Um, you know, competing in select baseball and select soccer all summer. I mean, there's kids who are doing four sports uh, a year or more, and that's fine, you know. Um, so I'm not really talking about them. I'm talking about the ones who are, um, you know, really uh, diving into this sport. Um, but what happens is this. Sometimes it's the parents who sort of just kick the kid off the ladder of success or pull the, the carpet out from underneath them. Our slogan is, those who stay will be champions. But my brother jokingly has said a few times, join, get real good, and quit. That needs to be a slogan for some of the kids. And I found that to be true. Not often, but every year we lose a couple of um, kids who are on the elite path. And I, it always comes down to the fact that it's the parent who gets stressed out the parent doesn't understand um, you know they were super relaxed when their kids were not very good they're almost skipping out the door they're so happy their kids are went from you know not even making it out of districts to to qualifying and, and, and almost placing in the state tournaments within one year boom they hit that two-year mark maybe three-year mark and now they're stressed because they're top two or three in the state uh, they're placing at these elite tournaments or um, you know but they're they're not quite winning those well guess what the, the pace of improvement has got to slow down a little bit right <laughs> so you know I always say as a parent if you go from 35% body fat down to to 14% you can do that within one year you want to go from 14% to 7% it's gonna take three years. You go from running a seven minute mile to a five minute mile, you can do that within a year, maybe. Uh, you wanna run a three minute mile in a year? That's not gonna happen, right? Uh, once you get to be elite, the margin for error is smaller and, um, you know, the whole thing sort of just slows down. That's, that's just realistic. So, um, as a parent, Make sure that you yourself understand what the kids are in for because oftentimes it's the parents who they were super chill and relaxed the first year or two of the program and then all of a sudden now they're stressed out. Now they have a scowl on their face while they're sitting in the bleachers watching their kid practice. Now they're jerking on his arm after practice and barking in his ear because he got taken down in practice or didn't get 13 takedowns. You're not going to get 13 takedowns in practice against a, uh, a two-time high school state champion who has Division I coaches calling him. Sorry, it's not going to happen, right? Even the best wrestlers in the world have one and two-point matches. Then this whole thing sort of shifts to where, you know, we're, we're now having um, close matches, but they're with the best kids in America. It's unrealistic to think that you're going to pin your way through the national tournament. The college guys don't do it. The elite Olympic guys don't do it. So it's just sort of a, not really frustrating. You know, our academy numbers are, it's 2018. We're at our 19-year high, our academy numbers. We just built a big training center here, as you can kind of see. All right. There's four buildings out there. I guess you don't know if you can see those or not. Um, anyway. So, we only lose a few kids a year. But those are the ones that sort of stick in your mind. You're like, golly, if that kid had just stuck it out. You know, if that parent just could sit out in the car and let us do our job, 
this kid's on the path to be a to wrestle at a big time division one program and then they don't do it and then here you are you sit back you sit and watch right we have a kid that just went to Columbia College right and that's fine but this kid was on track to wrestle Big Ten or Big Big Twelve um, you know got really good in our room quit his last three years of high school not that anything's wrong with going to Columbia College, but when they're on track to be big time and you just shake your head, you know? So you as a parent, make sure this, when your kids get to be very, very good, don't let the anxiety take place. You know, sometimes, um, you know, it gets more stressful because when you get very good, there's more anxiety involved when you weren't good the expectations were low there's no anxiety and any improvement you see is super exciting well now you go to the tournaments and it used to be if your kid made it won one round at the national tournament you thought you got your money's worth and you were excited now the kid's going to make the semis every mat every tournament three of the big tournaments every year he lost in the semis by one point and now you're you know you're like you're basically rattling your kid's cage and you're saying what can we do what can we do well the same program that got you to the elite level is the same one that can get you to the top it's just going to take a little more time the same exercise program that got you to a five minute mile is the same exercise program that's going to help you to get you know to 540 or you know 445 the same exercise program that got you to 14% body fat can get you down to seven but it's gonna take a few years the same exercise program that got you from bench pressing hundred pounds to 200 is pretty much the same program that's gonna help you to get that 205 206 207 you're not gonna bench press 400 pounds the next year you're not gonna double your gains it's just not realistic so as a parent just make sure you don't screw your kids up because we see that all the time and you know we just sit back and shake our head but there's nothing we can do about it but maybe this video will touch a few of you who find yourself in that position you're gonna just kind of maybe um, sort of preempt this deal a little bit and you'll say no you know this is now my kids elite this is what Nick was talking about let's slow down it's gonna be okay it's just gonna take a the pace of improvements gonna slow down now we're now we're knocking on the door to greatness but so are the other 5% kids because going from 5% the top 5% kids in America to the top 1% it's a grind it's frustrating and uh, it's very exciting if you have the emotional resilience as a parent to handle it so good luck to everyone out there um, and we appreciate you checking out our videos